Just do it! Uh, this store is great. I actually, I really like the way, somehow the, I find that when they have old issues on the wall like this, they're usually like in bad shape or faded. And so we were really impressed with uh, a lot of the first appearances that are on the wall that are still in great condition. And uh, it's the, you know, holes that I have from issues that I missed because I didn't get to the comic book store. It's got a lot of the old stuff that I feel like I can fill in. So I definitely spend enough where I sometimes look at the Thank issues that I don't even have time to read um, and I'm like, and man, I'm buying all these comics. Why am I, like, the amount of money I spend when I will have a stack like this on my counter that I haven't got to yet. Sometimes I'm like, uh, maybe I should uh, make some time to read all these. Carnage is amazing, but I feel like they're going to the well too many times. Everyone has their own symbiote. That's one of my complaints about the symbiotes. It's like everybody's had a symbiote at one, at one, one time yeah, or another. Yeah, so it just looked kind of dumb, and then I opened it, and um, I, I find that they'll do... There's got to be a term for when an amazing artist does the cover, and then the interiors are just trash. Yeah, yeah. But that's a very thick book. It's, uh, it's huge. Like, four issues in one, and the same artist has done every page, so... I am I'm just like what you said. Um, too much symbiote, too many symbiotes, too much whatever. Yeah. I gave it a seven out of ten. I mean, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good book. I'll read an issue uh, let's see, the box and I'll get a. Uh, I'll do hundred bucks and I'll read it and I'll think it sucks and then right, but they'll still I'll be I'll like, oh, give it. it a shot. I'll try to like ride this out and see okay. what happens, you know. Bye. But then after I like read, like the second comes out, it's like I shouldn't have wasted my money on any of it, you know. I'm reading Black Magic now. That's awesome. I love Black Magic. Yeah, that, that book good. is really That's only good. Eleven issues, right? There's supposed to be more coming out, but it, ne it never ended. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> Greg Rucker is a great writer. Yeah, man. yeah I'm, read. I'm loving it. Yeah. So 115 total. Could I uh, do 115 on my card? Sure. All right, I need to get freaking cigarettes and shit. <clears throat> and gas. Yeah, that's just that stuff's overrated. Yeah. <laughs> just just let your car. Especially when you're two in the morning, you're on the side of the road. Yeah, they, you know you just <laughs> siphon it out of some other guy's car. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say just just a rough guess. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! God! Oh Mary! Mother of Jesus! Jesus! I'm gonna say probably about 150, 160. I did a little high on it. Some of these are four dollar books, but you got a ten dollar book, an eight dollar book. So I did five dollars across the board. So 150, 160 may be a little high too. So, but that's just to give you a rough idea. Give you a rough idea. The Avengers, multiple Spider Mans. Of course, I'm picking up Marvel 1000, though I'm sure we'll have no actual solid story. <laughs> but lots of pretty artwork. Part of me says I should pick up that reprint of the House of Secrets, but I've got that story four times at home, and I'm just not that stupid. Thank you. Marvel Monsters, because I am that geek. Feeling bad, I guess I'll take it. Oh, look. More about the guy that killed Krypton. Can we stop that story now? It's gotten boring. I really like Bendis. I don't care much for his Superman run so far. Love Miles Morales. Love the the uh, Ultimate Universe Spider-Man. Uh, I read the first issue. I'm contemplating whether or not I want to spend the money on the second. A couple of the spin-offs I read and went, "Yep, this is just a complete waste of my time." But the ba basic general story isn't horrible. For those of your followers who are curious, yes, I have cancer. That's why I'm now bald. The good news is, it looks like it's covered, so getting there. It's one of those where I'm like, do I want to pay for this every month, or do I just want to wait for the trade paperback? And there's the challenge. Right now, it's looking like the trade paperback. The problem with these big series they do every year is they cost a ridiculous amount of money. If they were stuffing with a story, I'd have no problem. But half the time when they're doing these, not every time obviously, but half the time you're getting reprints of stories from 20 years ago. And who the hell cares? Here you've got the year of the villain. Well, that's cool, but you know, give me one villain. Make him good. Not 20 villains that are so-so. House of X is a waste of time. Well, half of it is illustrations of logos that are coming into these books. I'm like, really? I don't care whose logo you've got here. Instead, why don't you actually give me a damn story? Look at this. There's two pages. I don't need this. 
This does nothing. And then you're charging me money for it. And to hell with that. Fuck you! I bought the first one to give it a chance. I'm not giving it a second chance. If that makes me pissy, then I guess I'm pissy. Well, why don't you cry about it? Hey, we'll see you later. I wonder how many times they're going to give us pictures of Mary Jane and Spider-Man's mask. I'm not quite sure why they keep doing it. I'd rather see Spider-Man in Spider-Man's mask. I'm weird that way. You've got this huge hit show called The Boys. Yeah. You go to try to reorder the trade paperbacks and number one's actually not even in print. It will be back in stock, but wouldn't you, before that, before I'd make that hit, I'm damn sure I had book one in print. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before that movie hit the because I have show I have all the I had all the boys trades in print before they came in all of them in. Well, I sold issue one, so I, so you know you go to reorder issue one because most people are gonna start there after watching the show. Oh yeah. Back uh back ordered out of print. You There's know. No logic uh, to that. Dark Horse was even worse with um, Umbrella Academy. I didn't sell a lot of Umbrella Academy books, so I never really carried the trades. I special ordered them. Went to go order the trades, out of stock. That's ridiculous. Yep. They came out. They came back in stock a month, a month and a half after the after the book after the sh series dropped. Absolutely ridiculous. Right? So, when you you know if it was a monthly if it was a weekly show like a regular television show, you would still have the the audience there would still be looking for it. But the fact that like Netflix it drops, everyone watches it in three days. A month and a half later. They're forgetting that it was a comic book, and they're not even looking for it anymore. And how is that helping them? Seriously. Right, right. So, so now here it is. A month and a half later, the trades come back in stock. How did you take advantage? How did you take advantage of the hotness of the TV show without having your without having your books in stock? I'm thinking their logic is a little flawed. Yep. There are a lot of Spider-Man trade paperbacks. Yeah, there are. And that's just what I have. I mean, there's there's some that I don't even have in stock. It just there's so many of them. Oh yeah. Okay, what's this one? Hi, Brian. That's John Byrne. And other people who aren't as talented. My problem here is the same as it's always been. John Romita Jr. bores me. When he was younger and tried harder, he was better. And now he just doesn't work for me. About half of this is him. John Romita Jr. But you're putting him in a book with John Byrne, and John Byrne is a dozen times better at least. And that's John Byrne after he got a little sloppy, frankly. Actually, I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if he got sloppy or if he's just not as good without Terry Austin inking him. You'll have the, the few books that will come out this week that go for, you know, that'll go for twenty, thirty dollars for three months, and then, oh yeah, down to nothing. Was it that Captain America twenty five, the one where Falcon becomes Captain America? Yeah. When that was on the movie on the Endgame, that book shot up like forty five bucks. Now they're going for about fifteen dollars. And how long has it been? A yeah. month, two, you know, a couple months since the, since the movie came out. Doesn't take um, long. Yep. I actually don't have anybody who even comes in and asks for the book, asks for the book anymore either. You know, it's... Uh, this is the other thing that I find quite annoying. Must we have 17 different covers for each book? 12 or 15 covers for this Marvel 1000. Yeah. I mean, it's some great looking covers. I mean, the She-Hulk cover looks great. You got a... Uh, I just went with Ron the Lim. monsters because I'm a geek. I mean, I, that collage cover I think is yeah. awesome. Who is that? Uh, let me check my invoice because I actually have the names. They actually have the names, names of them on the invoice. Here we have Superman Year One, which again I might consider, but I hate the artwork. Nothing personal against the man. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I just don't like his art style. Garson, G-A-R-C-I-N. I don't know his first name. He's doing his best to look like Perez there. Yeah, that's, that looks really nice. I like it. Did you grab this Marvel Monsters book? How could I not? Well, it's funny. I was, I was thinking of Marvel Monsters, but I was also thinking of Werewolf by Night and oh yeah, and Frankenstein. So you know, I was so I was expecting a little. I was expecting a little. I was expecting some of the other monsters, but I'm okay with these monsters. These monsters are great. Oh, amen. Colin Bunn too. Another. I mean, we'll see. We'll see I've how it is. I've known Colin for years. He's a great guy and a hell of a writer. He sure is. He's a great. He writer. could drop a few comics my way, but beyond that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's one I wanted to look at. So. If Dumbo over there put put this in the right spot, you would have been able to see it. I'm like, is that really Marvel? It better not be. I'll find out. If it isn't, I'll be fine. If it is, I'll be pissed. They killed him nicely. He should have stayed dead. Yes, I definitely agree with that. It can't just be Uncle Ben, damn it. Mark Wade is now doing Doctor Strange. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Probably good. Mark Wade's a hell of a writer, nine times out of ten. 
the, the last run of Doctor Strange, they had him eating foods that run natural to human beings because magic had changed them so much. And I'm like, wow, that's never been brought up before and it's incredibly fucking stupid. Thanks, I appreciate your need to change that. If they had built up to that, if it had been a transition that took place in the course of the story instead of the way it started, I'd have liked it better. No, that, that, trust me, there are many characters from Marvel and DC both I'd love to get my hands on. Okay, I'm spending way more than I planned on, again. When you look at the Avengers, they've got a Ghost, ghost Rider crossover going on in there with more than one Ghost Rider. I'm cool with that. Yeah, me too. You do Ghost Rider, if you do Ghost Rider right, Ghost Rider is a great character. Oh, yeah. I've always been a big Johnny Blaze fan, and I like Danny Ketch when he came back. That's actually, I did too. That's actually one of the books that actually got me back into reading got me back into reading comics again. I actually just ordered that off of eBay from somebody for six bucks. I'm like, that's like the first ten issues for six bucks. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong with that. They did a Robbie Reyes miniseries. I didn't think that was that great. Uh, well, part of that was the recraftacular artwork that went into that mini. Oh yeah, it was. It was just. It was just awful, awful. Well, congratulations! Artwork. You found somebody who will do this for ten dollars a page. You yeah. shouldn't have, but you did. Yep. But I think I think with him in the Avengers, he's interesting enough, and it's not all focused on him, which is right. which is good. Um, and I think that happens. I think that helps a lot with um, that helps a lot with a lot of, you know, with with a, with a lot of characters. You know, when it's not they're cool characters, if the whole thing isn't focused on them all the time. So if you do a mini series of a book, great. But sometimes you get some of those characters. An ongoing series just doesn't, just shouldn't happen. How much is that man thing bobblehead? Actually, one of my buddies bought that for me. It's it's the um, it's the lim it's the the uh, convention Funko Pop. So I was asking, I was telling him, I says, "Oh man, I wish they did a." Because I mean, I collect a few. Oh like, yeah. Like the plastic man. He bought me the plastic man. I have to bring that home. And once they're here, I'll end up bringing them home and stacking them up with my other stuff. Sure. But um, man thing's one of my favorite things. So oh I was yeah. Like, oh, he goes, he's gone. They do have a man thing. They had it for the convention for the comic conventions. So he he actually went out and ordered it for me and gave it and gave it to me. I'm gonna have to find that yeah. on eBay or something because that's awesome. I've yeah. got the Bowen bust and the Bowen statue of Man Thing. Because same thing. He's one of my favorites. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dig that. And, and you know what I like about it? It's it's a little different than most pops. So, the, so like a lot of the pops, they all, I mean, they're all the same. I mean, it's yeah. just the same head. But this is this has got different. It's got the arms. It's I, he's property yeah. hunchbacked. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This is this is this is this is a great pop figure. Oh yeah. I picked up the it Pennywise holding the I Heart Dairy red balloon. Yeah. And I picked up the uh, the Batman vampire from Red Dawn or whatever whatever one that was called. Oh, um, Red Rain. Red Rain. Yeah. Because I can buy those for ten to fifteen bucks versus you know, one hundred and twenty for a statue. I'm like, yeah, I'll just buy the bobblehead. It's yep. close enough. This week is a huge week. I mean, I had to put uh, this rack only holds ninety six books and it's full. And I even had books that didn't that didn't fit onto the books. I put a lot of kid stuff on the kids rack. Sold out a few issues already today, but we got the second issue of second issue of Absolute Carnage. I didn't get a chance to read it last night yet, but I'll read that. I'll be reading it tonight, but. Issue one was good. His artwork is excellent. Batman, Curse of the White Knight. Not a big fan of it, but it's hu it's hugely popular. Uh, you get Sean Murphy and Sean Murphy and Matt Hollinsworth doing it. They did a uh, a White Knight series last year, the year before, that was very very good, um, or very very popular. And this is like a sequel a sequel to it. Yeah, I didn't read this one. I didn't care for the first for the first series, so I didn't even try this one. But it's extremely popular. A lot of people love it. So um, it's and it's it it's it sells awesome. They have two covers, two different covers. Another big book this week is supposed to be the Marvel Comics One Thousand. There's different one, two page stories that define the years in the book by different writers, different uh, different artists. They have they have uh, like 15 covers or 12 covers or something. This book's gonna be really popular this week. But yeah, I mean that's um, those are like some of the bigger books. Uh, this Mountainhead book it just seems like it's gonna be popular. I haven't um, I haven't I haven't I, I haven't had read this yet, but um, I, I've already sold you know I've already sold a lot of issues of this today. So this could this could be decent, and then we don't have to. And then we don't forget even this week too, the House of X number House of X number three. This stuff is this stuff's been flying off the shelf. Hickman's hitting out of the park for that one. This book here from Scout Comics Headless was actually pretty decent. I mean the artwork's not that great, but sometimes with some of these little independent, but you know these independent books, you don't uh you don't expect it to have the greatest of artwork. You just you just deal with what it you know with what it is. Uh, but the story was decent. 
Um, our work's tolerable, you know. In this sort of thing, you don't mind. You don't mind it. I mean, you don't. You don't want to see this again. You don't want to see this artwork in your House of Axe or your Amazing Spider-Man or something. But something like this, you deal with it because you know what you're already starting with with this with the company that has, you know, they got a print run of like two thousand. I mean, it's just a small company. Another is another book. This is put out by Source Point Source Point Press. Um, this is volume. This is number. This is issue number two. Issue number one, like first printings, are already going for like fifteen dollars right now. This is the sort of thing. Sometimes uh, they're only. It's like it's a mini series. Um, it's one of those things that yeah, people read it, they'll like it. But you know, ten years from now or five years from now, no one's really looking for it. I mean, it may it may stay at fifteen dollars, but no one may ever want it at that. This militia book is actually pretty. Is actually pretty decent too. The artworks. The artwork is fine. So yeah, these are uh, you know. Some of the little independent books, there there are really really some good companies out there that people should actually you know maybe pick up and try. Man of Black by Dark Horse, another Cullen Bunn book, decent book. Issue one was good. I, uh, issue one was good. I haven't read issue two yet. Cullen Bunn is he writes he writes a lot of good stuff. Just hope I just hope his Marvel Monsters is good. The Spider Man Velocity from the Gaming Verse. The last one the last one they did was based kind of like on the video game. I think this one here now is new stories but in in the in the gaming verse it's pretty good yeah this I mean, this, yeah, this uh that last story was good so i got i got very very high hopes for this one um tommy gun wizards this looks kind of interesting too you know you've got gangsters and wizards in in the 20s how can you go wrong with something like that i'd check out some of this uh especially some of this new stuff but hey don't take my word for it Hey, I like it. Man. I do too. I do too. No, you, you just gotta be. You just gotta be positive. Yeah, gotta be right. positive. Okay. Or YouTube will get you. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was most looking for. Yeah, too. look at that, huh? Great it's gonna color, be fun. Huh? Great color. Yeah, I do like that color. I mean, I mean, I'd rather have the figure though. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Get got, got that clown in the back there. Mm -hmm. Careful. He's not a clown. That's right. What the hell is this? I know this is one of the covers you asked for. Is it? Yeah. Like sometimes. That's the classified one? You can throw it back on the shelf if you want. I'll think about it. There's, uh, there's your Venom. Cover's all right. Yeah. That's beautiful color. Isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Have fun. I love the Venom t-shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I had to go home and change. Yeah. I had to represent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right. If you're going to come down... Yeah, and you're the Venom guy. You should be wearing a Venom shirt. I need to wear my work t shirt. Like mine is, mine, this, my new one is, uh, never apologize. And stop apologizing. I get it's sarcasm, but. Did I, did I apologize? Did I say I'm sorry? Have you heard me say I'm sorry? Sarcastically, yeah, when you talk about manhandling the books. But I didn't say I'm sorry. I look ahead, obviously, and put in my order with Glenn, but I'll always look at the new release racks to see if anything grabs my eye. Like this. I read about this, but wasn't sure if I wanted it. So thankfully, Glenn is a comic book store that lets you flip through the books, while others, especially locally, will give you shit for it. Hurry up and buy! Some of the bigger name stores, uh, if they see you doing it, they'll they'll either frown upon it and make a comment, or they'll straight up just tell you, uh, we don't allow that. No flipping through the books. Like, I'm going to have time to sit here and read it. I'm clearly just trying to find something inside the book, like a single panel of Eddie Brock. So, those don't count. Advertisements don't count. Yeah, let's see what we got here, buddy. What do we got? Some X-Men? I mean, obviously those aren't the price, you know. They're not the prices? What do you mean? They're not yeah, like... That's what they were priced when, that's what they were priced when they came in, but... <laughs> I don't know, I don't think... Some of them are Some of them, I, I bet you some of them are even less. Some might be more, some yeah, might some, be less. Yeah, some, some were actually more. Maximum 55, 42. Do I need this one? Feature. Look at that, huh? Marvel Feature presents The Thing and Iron Man. If I'm not mistaken, that may be a Jim Starlin cover. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Is that the first Suicide Squad? Thirty-nine. Um, I don't think it is. I wouldn't. 
There you go. Yeah, mad love. Yeah. Some nice spideys. <clears throat> Do you have most of them? Yep. I do. Got all of it. I actually brought, brought lunch today, so I didn't want to pick yeah. up pizza. I got a boiled dinner. Mm. Boiled dinner or pizza? Pizza wins any time pizza. of the day. <laughs> I fired a bunch of people this this past week. Had a long box and a half of stuff I, I had to put back. You're like Rodney Dangerfield, you should do the do your impersonation. Play. <laughs> no <laughs> respect. I shoot a friend there too. Uh, I won't mention names, but he stiffed me with about this much worth the books. So no, the no. Uh, your other your other buddy who liked who 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 hung out with you and be with me. Stuff the Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, him. He ended up stiffing me with. I probably have at least at least one hundred fifty dollars worth of books. You come in with your with your weak stuff, okay? That made up, but think about it. With what I just gave out today, that could be four weeks worth of you coming in. So I made no money. That broke me even for what uh you know for for what for what they think. So that's a you know that's that's a month of your sales to break up for the people I hit that 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 left me stuff. So how many people? I had up almost a long comic box and a half. So even if you say four hundred fifty bucks, uh, say four hundred fifty bucks times four. I mean, just that right there. That's eighteen hundred. That's eighteen hundred bucks. What? Uh, what's your rarest venom book? I I, like I said, I think I pretty much have ninety-nine point nine percent, and that includes covers. Includes covers? Oh yeah. Every cover? Mm -hmm. You betcha. I doubt it. I need uh, proof. You need to come in with pictures next time. Ask Glenn. Glenn, Glenn. Glenn can vouch for me. I don't, uh, I don't take the, I don't pick Yeah, he's got it all. If it came out within the last 25, 30 years, definitely. Yeah, you know, it's, No shit. Uh, Did you ever come across a Black Era cover from the Protector No. 1? Yeah, I've, I've turned it down a lot of times, like an idiot, back when it was like 100 bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Sold mine for 400 when I had it. Yeah, how'd that make you feel? Recently. Where was that? How'd that make me feel? Yeah. Good at that time, right? Yeah, my girlfriend was super hot and I needed the money, so... Oh, you cunt! What a cunt! I can't believe that! Yep, you still what it her? is. No. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> no, <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot, though. How much would that book be worth today? Graded at like a 9.8. I saw one for... 20,000. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Hurts. Regular book? A regular ungraded book? I think it goes for like, if they list it as near mint, it's like two thousand. So you sold that book. They could have been worth twenty thousand dollars today. For four hundred and forty bucks. Dude, I sold the book for twelve hundred dollars at sixty thousand dollars today. So, uh, so you know, what are you gonna do? Shit. And it was all, and, and it was mostly in trade. Quality shit right here. Can't wait. Nope. I'm gonna crack open this, crack open this 3D thing. Put your glasses on and say, like, "Woo!" That's right. Can't wait. Wow, well, Venom in 3D! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that's the entire appeal. You pretty much summed it up. Yeah. <laughs> so you've read Absolute Carnage too, then? Didn't read it yet. You didn't read it yet. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Didn't read it yet. But it's home tonight. Is reading night. So gotcha. I'll get my I'll, I'll get my 20, 25 books read tonight instead mm -hmm. of instead of last night. So how long is 25 books gonna take you? It to depends. Read? I mean, look at this book here. I mean, if I if I read this tonight, I don't. I may not read this tonight. But this yeah. is the size of five books. Yeah, I, you, you know. So I mean, half the books you can breathe through because there's very little words. But you get some of the ones that are actually. It takes time to read, time to look at, because the art, the the writer actually says, "Hey, I'm going to work, and mm -hmm. I'm going to put, I'm going to put words in this book." I'm tired of the, the, the ones where you know you've got seven or eight words on a page now, yeah. and you just you flip through it, and you're done, and you're done with a book in in mm -hmm. ten minutes. You know, I like a I like a comic that it takes you 25 minutes to read because there's you know there's a lot of stuff going on, but there's a lot of words, there's a lot of dialogue. Yeah. Um, but a lot of them don't do that anymore because, oh, why? No one's no one's complaining, you know. Yeah. It's, they, you know, because God forbid, you more than ten minutes, you've already lost people's a lot of people's attention span. So, yeah. so sometimes with a trade, I may read two issues out of the trade, put it down, and go back and read more books. Next week, pick up two more issues and read two issues out of the trade, and still read other books. I just won't sit and 
read the whole read the whole trade because now I'm falling behind on my weekly on my weekly stuff. Did you like Ice Cream Man uh, this this didn't week? Read, or didn't it, read this week, Chef. Stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, it's home. Uh -huh. It's home, but it wasn't it wasn't for it wasn't a first read after the past couple issues. Yeah, uh, yeah, this didn't this didn't fall off. I need to read this right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it done in the next next day or two. But yeah, that that's that's gone on the back burner of my uh, read list. He's getting a little too witty for himself. Because uh -huh. that the 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 one that was last week, you could read it frontwards or backwards. That one was pretty interesting, but pretty interesting that you that you, you, that you, that you had to put a lot of thought into it to be able to, to tell a story that way. Yeah, but you still need to tell a good story. <laughs> so that you know that was that was that was the problem. Yep. Next week's a big week too. Yep. <laughs> I, I looked at the the list of things I ordered, and it doesn't help that I a bunch of the. Um, bunch of the uh, connecting covers coming next week and it's like oh well that's, <laughs> that's three comics six comics worth of. <sighs> keep having this feeling like I forgot a book or two he proves over there for like 10 20 minutes and it's like all right did I catch everything <laughs> that I wanted to get this week and of course it, it, I'll get home and it'll be like oh crap there's that one or two oh, titles that well I perused though hey <laughs> you know the phone number you know the email address shoot me an email or Oh, call me and I'll pull it. I'll just pull it for you. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. See thanks you a lot. Again. Yep. See we'll see you later. later. Got some absolute carnage stuff. Got a uh, Thanos Venom House of X, which has been pretty good so far. Contrary to what Glenn says, <laughs> I've liked both of those. House of X and Power of X have been really good. How was the con with uh, Todd McFarlane? Um, it was a shit show. Um, I got there in the morning. And they uh, had the line had already. I got there first thing in the morning. The line was already capped, and it was all vendors and um, VIP people because they got in a half hour early. So I said, "That's fine. He's coming back." And I came back later. Um, they were like, "Yeah, he's signing again at four. Kind of mill around at like come back and mill around at three thirty, so you can kind of be in the area." And I went back at three thirty, and it was a mob scene. And I just said, you know what, it's not even worth it. And I just, I just left. I was like, whatever. Look at us. What you got? Autographed by John Romita Jr. Oh my god. Favorite, gosh. my favorite writer, my favorite artist of all time. Nice. Yeah. It's not for sale, is it? No, of course not. Tony, Tony <laughs> got like, it for me. Tony, Tony picked it up for me. He was about to smack me. It was for sale. If he came in the store or whatever, or, you know, I mean, I would be honored to meet him. I mean, yeah. he's, a, he's just not my stuff. I'd rather, I, like I said, I like his old stuff. I don't yeah. like his I don't like his new stuff. But uh, I would take a sketch by him any day because, you know something? It's still John Romita Jr. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's not, you know, he's not my favorite artist, but he's still a legend and he's still yeah, a legend he, in I comics. Mean, like you, you said, know, right. his old stuff. Yeah. It's great. That Superman year one. I think the art's pretty good on it. Yeah. The story sucks. Yeah. But the art is decent. Because like, I open it up, I can tell, I can see, I guess, yep, this is Ramita. I, I just, oh, you I can, can yeah, see. You yeah, you can tell it's him. Yeah. But. I mean, his heads look like, the people look like bobbleheads. You know, they, they, they yeah. kind of go up there and the heads are just like, uh, uh, like this. And, but hey, to each their own. But so when I looked at the first couple pages. Yeah. Look, right. Look, like, look at uh, the art. It's decent. It's right. It's not bad. And then I looked, I said, wow, this looks really good. Wow. This, I can't believe this is John Ramita Jr. Then. I got to here, and I looked at this. I said, "This is this is John Romita Jr." Um, I I can't I can't. I didn't think it was that yeah. bad, but I don't think compared to some of his recent stuff, this is great. Oh, this is all different artwork. This is probably yeah. his best work that he's done in a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm looking at it, going like it's not that bad. Yeah. The story was was hot garbage. Yeah. Well, see, it's, it's funny because I didn't care. So. Um, I don't want to read. I don't want to read another Superman Year One book. So, I was hoping Frank Miller would yeah. do something a little bit different. Well, and then I then Frank Miller's name was on it, and that already that was already three, two strikes against it. So so it went Miller to Ramita, three strikes. It was out. I didn't even get a chance. But hey, um, again, I read a lot of books. I mean, yeah. I can't read everything, and this is something I really had no interest in. So there was no there was. No, I mean, it could be the greatest book ever. This is Ramita some of his best work he's done in a oh, long yeah, time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yep. Um, Which one's that one? This is uh, the new Superman Year One. That's yeah, so you should, you should pick up a copy. You need yeah. it. <laughs> well, if you say so, I will, but... Uh, I'm kind oh, of do you want me to honestly, or do you want me to just say that you need it? 
Which one do you think might be feel better? Do you know something? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't lie to sell a book. I know. Okay? Man, that's that's so, why I love you. Man. So I could say I don't read it. I'm not interested in Frank Miller. Yeah. Um, you know how I feel about Frank Miller now. Yeah. Not really. So no, um, I can't. I can't. I can't give you a recommendation. You should buy this book um, because I don't. That's not how I sell books here. Yeah, I don't sell. Yeah. I don't sell a book just to try to sell a book. I try. I, you know. So because you yeah. have a passion for it and you know what the hell you're talking right, about. Right. Right. So in know. the end, you need. I mean, you have to make that opinion yourself. But yeah, I won't give you the recommendation. That right there, for me saying that, I just single-handedly ru ruined comics. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Comic Con, I couldn't find that book anywhere. I actually found in one booth. They were selling it for $65. I walked away for 10 minutes Gone. because my cousin wanted me to look at uh, a baby Deadpool book or whatever. And he, we, we bought it. He wanted me to look at it, whatever. He bought it. We go back and I was like, yeah, this is mind bomb book. I want to check out the covers off foil. Looked really yeah, nice. Yeah, caught yeah, my, yeah, caught yeah. my eye. And I go back and I was like, hey, I saw a Carnage mind bomb book. He goes, that guy just bought it. And I was like, what do you mean that guy just bought it? Are you serious? I, so I was feel like, bad. not again. Yeah, it I happens know. to you yeah. when you take all yeah. the, the stuff that people yeah. want that you yeah. take off the wall. <laughs> so I'm thinking about buying this one now. Next, is this a good book, Glenn? Uh, anything with the hobgoblin is good. Yeah, yeah, that's his second appearance. All right, Glenn, I'll put this one on hold too for tomorrow. It's an extra five dollars for hold. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'll pay it gladly. Plus, a, plus a large cheese. Plus a large cheese. So I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, you know something? Up. Screw the five dollars. You bring the large cheese. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little stuff in here. Here you go, Tom. I know last week you cried that I didn't give you your bucks. Here, here, here you go. Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics what? They didn't Marvel Comics this 1000. This is all Doctor Strange. Right, 99. Damn. With Marvel 999. Comics. With Marvel yeah. Comics. Uh, so it has 179, 180. That's cool. I get really nervous. I didn't know you were looking for NYX Holding. number. I didn't know realize you were looking for NYX number three. I just sold one like three weeks ago. Did you? I thought I put it on my list of what, yeah. what I what I told I, you to I look out I for. I didn't even know you were looking for that, man. That's Are you just, kidding me? That's old. How much? Is, no, no, I, 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 I didn't get one. <laughs> he does that to me every time I come here. Okay. I, ha I have one at home, <laughs> but I'll, I'll I'll continue to buy it. Yeah, I had an Incredible Hulk one eighty one. I let it go for a couple hundred dollars. What? <laughs> oh, how cool is this? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is song. awesome. <laughs> Dude, I remember this car Disney cartoon. God, These like Spider-Man ones Disney caught my eye. Because I, when, I, when I buy books, I like to do that. I like to keep them. When I buy like a, a like if I come to a store and I say, oh, that catches my eye. Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Oh, that's sick. And it's like, oh, 183. All right, well, was 182 and was 184. So I can keep going and see if I like that. What's, what's going on? So I've never seen these before. So that's why I'm little am interested in them so might put them on hold and let Glenn go through them see what he thinks well I'm getting nervous again we gotta pay that fee